Good morning, everyone, and happy Saturday. My name is Callie, and this is the second episode of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. In today's episode, I'm going to give you guys a little exercise to help strengthen the muscles in the right hand. But before we do that, I actually have a few things I'd like to share with you. First of all, um, if you aren't aware of it, a few weeks ago I did my very first live stream. And it was a live stream on air support and breathing, and it was about 40 minutes of me giving viewers different exercises and tips and things that they could do to improve on air support and stuff. And it was actually a great success. I had a number of students from my studio log in at that time to watch and also a few regular YouTube viewers. So it was pretty cool. And thanks to all of you guys who made it out. Now, um, the exciting thing is that I actually finally put timestamps in the description of the video. So those of you who are finding out about this for the first time, be sure to go check it out. You've got, you know, you'll go to the description and there's like this whole like list of maybe 10 different timestamps, all these different exercises and things, including my breathing philosophy cool things you can do with a straw and blowing out a candle and even that little device that helps you measure, you know, how much lung capacity you have and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Be sure to, you know, take a watch if you um, are interested in such things. Also, this past week, I recorded Rose A2 number seven, and um, that in itself isn't extraordinary because a lot of people are doing that, but if any of you are kind of following what I'm doing and my equipment and everything, you know I play on a BD5. It's a traditional pitch BD5. I decided this past week to record my Rose Etude on another mouthpiece that I like a lot, which is the B40 Lyre 13 series. And it uh, it's pitched a little bit lower, um, closer to 440, and it actually works really well with my new Yamaha CSVR. So I don't know, I might have to reevaluate some things or maybe I won't. I don't know. You know, if you're interested in hearing what that sounds like, be sure to watch that video as well. Lastly, um, you probably know this already, but I have a Patreon page and it's a place where viewers can just help out um, in supporting my channel. So if you like what I do, just stop on over. It's like I it's like a tip tip jar. You just kind of like say, okay, once a month I'm going to make this $3 contribution to Callie's Clarinet channel. At the very least, just watching my videos and, you know, sharing them and, uh, you know, generally um, watching my content really makes a big difference as well. So thank you all for that. As I get my clarinet together, where's my instrument anyway? I don't know where it went. Now, as I put my instrument together, I'm gonna tell you a couple of things. Um, first of all, I've got this box right behind me. It's the most luxurious little shoe box you've ever seen, right? It's the perfect size for a nice, snuggly, cuddly kitty named Luke. So I'm, <laughs> I put this out to hopefully entice him to make an appearance in the video. We'll see if that happens, so. <laughs> Be sure to, I don't know, watch to the end. Hopefully he will make it. Otherwise, I just have a random shoebox in my video. I guess that's fine. I decided to do a video on strengthening the right hand muscles with one etude in particular um, because next week or the week following, I'm going to be posting a video on Rose Etude number eight. And if you look at that etude, it's full of all kinds of runs going up and down over the break. And I actually kind of realized like, man, I'm like kind of out of shape. I did some body makeup by Jean Jean, which I really love. And then I'm like all into Closet lately. So I went through and started practicing some of these cool Alberti bass passages and I was like, dude, that'd be great. I need to put that in my next episode of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee for your weekend practice routine, guys. So that's what I'm gonna do. Now before we actually start this this practice routine, I'm just gonna kind of tell you what I'm 
I'm going to do. So I'm actually going to practice for maybe 10 to 15 minutes and I'm going to use my metronome. I'm going to start it at 60 and I'm going to go at two clicks every time I play through the passage correctly until I get up to 120. So hopefully that'll give you guys something to practice with because I think it's more fun to practice with somebody else if you can, right? So um, that's what I'm doing there. Um, if you don't have your own metronome and you don't want to practice with me, you can check out my metronome playlist, which has all of the traditional metronome markings. So if you use the two click method, which I highly recommend, um, you just go every other marking in the metronome playlist until you get up to whatever your goal tempo is. Now, if you wanna practice with me and I'm going too fast, you can take the video speed and slow it down and it shouldn't um, affect the pitch too much. Um, it may sound a little funny, but um, the content, you know, it'll still be the same. So be sure to do that if you need to. This exercise is just so great because not only do you practice closing your hand using these muscles, which we're all very good at because we hold things on a daily basis, but you also get really good at practicing coordinating the lifting motion of your fingers, multi-finger lifting, which there's not enough emphasis put on strengthening these muscles in the hand and the arm. So Alberti Bates exercises are like so much fun and really great for working that muscle system out. I think I have pretty much said everything, so why don't we just go ahead and get started? <laughs> Thank you. 
guys, I am like sweating. That was a lot of work. My hand is tired. I hope you guys really um, enjoyed that and I hope you guys can enjoy practicing that with me. The best way to really get good at something and build muscle though is to do it every day on a regular basis for, you know, I'd say at least do it a week, you know, change it up, do a different exercise in a couple weeks, but you have to, you know, it's just like working out. You kind of have to keep that muscle going. And the repetitive nature of doing this with your metronome, trying to beat the tempo you got to the day before and so on and so forth, that's how you really build the muscle and the coordination to improve your hand and finger strength. So if you enjoyed playing with this, leave a comment in the comments below. And, you know, if you have any tips or, you know, whatever, just want to say hello, also leave a comment below. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great weekend, have fun practicing, and I will see you next Saturday for another episode of Clarinets, Cats, and Coffee. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, happy practicing!